about it. Um, I think he, I think he leads a bit more. Uh, like he'll usually like start zero two, and then unless he knows he's going against something that's just crazy, crazy right. good for him. Blind going to zero suit up against E O one, also a local player, uh, D F W rather local. Yeah, local uh, Texas locally. I was like, I've yeah. seen that tag before, so I was like, I was like, let's assume it's Texas. I can't just say local because there's <laughs> local doesn't mean anything here. Yeah, we are. This this state is the size of like France. So. Yeah, it's uh, literally twice the size of Germany. One state, twice the size of a of a country. Yeah. Unbelievable. But I mean, this will be interesting. I and mean, this is all. Uh, how well Globo's gonna maneuver around these big, uh, these big violent boxes. Whoa! Oh, why that did was, that snap? Yeah. <laughs> you, saw, you saw that. It took it took a second too. Like the the game had to think about if you know what got this move off or not. Yeah. Sagarai <laughs> smiled upon him and said, "You know what? You know what? You got this." Everybody one. gets one. Everybody this, gets one. This is a gift from me for your birthday. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. A great DI from Globo to stay away from that danger zone. Going off stage. I feel like Zero Suit as a character, uh, in this particular matchup, it can be really tough to try to set up. A lot of your safe pressure is something through like Zare. Right. It's not quite as safe when their forward air reaches about the same. Exactly. And you have to contest with them fighting space with a move that does a lot more. Yeah, yeah. That, that that lateral neutral that Zero Suit's kind of good at, um, it definitely isn't quite as effective. And even then, great anti-air gameplay by EO1 as well. I mean, that command grab's showing off. Uh, you can't just also just jump around me for free either. And that right. is establishing that threat zone early is going to be really good against a character like Zero Suit, where if she doesn't get her early, like, haha, near flip kick on you, like, you're, you're in the, you're on the, you're just going to struggle to kill a little bit. Man, the punish game from Yoan has been phenomenal so far. Up to 70 already off a of one interaction. But Globo pushing Yoan to the corner. I've seen many a ZSS game where I, I don't need to be taught. 30% could absolutely be the end of your stock. You know, we could find a down smash or a neutral air at the ledge. Oh! Or we that was so special. down throw upbeat, and then uh, Global, I think, not ready for that. Just DI's, just go straight down. But he said, I got me some of that too! Absolutely. <laughs> We're back and forth. I love to see some electrifying gameplay here. Yeah, these guys are, these two, these two are swinging. That's, a, that's all you can ask for, really, in a comms block, for me at least. Absolutely. No, I love to see. It, it feels like you know, I saw Graves are playing with the heart. These players are playing with their heart. They're letting everything rock all out on the table. Okay. That's what gets things started. Ready for the air dodge as well. I feel like Violet is a character that's really good about throwing out these non committal moves and can kind of react to your defensive options. No, no jump. Man, that's tough not to recognize as well because I feel like. If you did recognize, there's a chance you can maybe air dodge get a little bit closer. Uh, but from that position, just not able to make it back. So Globo taking that first one. And that tether can like, that tether kind of, uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it gives and it, it gives and it takes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I feel like you sometimes you see that tether grab and it grabs from uh, eons away and, and it latches on. Then you see situations like that where it's just right there and it just, just, uh, you know, just gets all, uh, you know. Times the tether looks back at Bile and says, "Boss, I'm calling in today." I'm calling. I, you know, yeah, <laughs> I don't a, feel great. I've hit. Uh, it, my union says. My union says you get three crazy latch. You get three crazy upbees per game, and you already used them all. Yeah, you've so. met quota. No longer do I have to provide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the next game, I imagine we're still going to be on the ZSS because I don't think Game and Watch would feel very comfortable against the distance team. No. Yeah. That's. Uh, I think. I think the whole. I mean, the whole game plan is is to not let Byleth, uh, you know, blow you up at 60. And yeah. Zero Suit, while she does, also will die at 60 to a back air. She has more uh, that little bit of extra maneuverability, uh, having uh, outside of just you know, <laughs> game watch upbeat. Yeah. I mean, you got flip jump as Zero Suit. You know, you got a few ways to maneuver. Okay. Well, just out of the range. I love that. So far, Globo doing a phenomenal job of maneuvering this space around EO1. I think EO1's gonna have to start going for these air to airs, and we see it there with a the neutral air. But neutral air and forward air to call out Globo's jumps is what's gonna be required, because if you respect them long enough to be stuck in shield, that's Zero Suit's turn. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, EO1's been showing good uh, good use of the up B, at least on stage. Like He's, he's, he's been kind of uh, plucking Globo out of the air a few times already. Yeah, absolutely. Controlling center with that neutral air. I like that retreating forward air to try to control that space but not commit too heavy. Ooh. Oh, the, the 
is there into the back air. Oh, good aggression as well to go off stage with the side B uh, to close the stock out. You gotta gotta remind people that you can, you can still go out there. Uh, you know you don't want to you don't want to fall asleep at the wheel off stage. Even if you're in a deep corner like EO One was, Lobo showing uh, he's not safe anywhere. Yeah, I was not ready to see that personally. That was an incredible way to take advantage of EO One off stage. Probably something he's not gonna forget either. Good chase here, and, and, and yeah, I mean, Globus is kind of running with it now, uh, kind of slowly tacking on some, ex some extra credit uh, off this first stock. Okay. Yohan done a great job of finding these grabs, but at this percent, not getting a whole lot off of them. This is kind of the hard part. It's like now now it's up to Byleth to, like, the balls, the balls in Yohan's court to make a little bit of, a, of an approaching and a more, a more aggressive play, and Zero Suit, Zero Suit can just kind of disengage, uh, you know, yeah. kind of stay away from that, especially since Byleth doesn't has a distance, but not quite the speed to, to Breton. Uh, okay, there we go. You cover a lot of space there with that, though. Eventually, you are going to catch the Zero Suit landing. She's got a lot of tricks and a lot of movement that makes it really hard. Like you said, Byleth's not a quick character. On the ground, very slow. But you do control a lot of space. You don't want to push and globe into the corner. But it just takes one hit, and you're out. Yeah. I can take care of it. And again, uh, Globo, Globo hanging back knows knows that like he has no reason to kind of put himself in that 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 danger zone. Keeping things back with uh, with Zare at 100 percent too. Zare's gonna start forcing Tex into it. He's gonna start uh, yeah. forcing Ewan to start picking options. That's when Globo can go in for the kill. Absolutely. Oh, what a down tilt! This is an opportunity for Eo One. Great air dodge from Globo. Get away from that near drag down. Could have been a way to turn things around. Oh, tries to read the roll in. Anyone doesn't give it to him. Oh, go, 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 wants it again. And now, a, and now, you know, a couple uh, gets wrong a couple times, and now he's in, now he's in he's in a pretty crazy threat range. Uh, he will die. He will 100% die to a bagger. Absolutely. There we go. Or just go for that plasma whip. That was unfortunate too. You could see the that bagger coming out. I think if it connected, it would have 100% been a tipper. But yeah. uh, the the weird. Uh, Plasma whip coming, uh, side B coming in there, doing doing diligence for Globo. Go. Starting things off on the third stock, Globo has Yo one at the ledge, and this is a scary spot. If we saw that Nair connect, that could be game over. Back throw? No, forward. We want to chase attack, but Yo one great presence of mind, holds up, doesn't have to. Oh, there it is. Okay, not not enough to get the spike. Good DI to avoid. Uh, you know, he's looking to have. Feeding off, like save Global showing no fear going out after him. Really trying to put a exclamation end point. Oh, hold on, he won't, he won't oh. fight back. Yeah, big big answer from Yo One. Oh, that Trump would have been crazy. I love the idea. I really do. Now percent's just about even though we can see a forward error back here do it from the right position on the stage. Oh, and we're seeing Global search for these Zares. Good stall with the up beat by EO1. Oh, tosses uh, Globo up and off stage. Looking scary. Okay, trying to chase a roll, doesn't find it. Waits for the flip jump, you know it's coming. And yeah, there it the is. whip is gonna come through, eventually doing it. That was